Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Movie Monday. This week's topic is very near and dear to my heart, and I am not exaggerating when I tell you that I could probably break it down and teach an entire college semester on what this title is, but I only get a few minutes, so please bear with me. We're going to talk about why is food so important, and afterwards, I'm going to be giving you guys your focus for the week. That's right. We can't change ourselves all at once, so we're just going to pick a couple of things that we're going to focus on this week, and you can get bonus points doing everything else. So, why is food so important? Well, there is the obvious reason. <laughs> People know that if you eat the right foods, you gain weight, lose weight, get more muscle, you can have sex pack abs, and everybody thinks about food really for the value that it gives um, to their appearance. And they should. Because every 28 days, your skin regenerates itself. And what do you think your skin uses in order to build itself? Ever had the experience as a teenager where you ate too much chocolate or Doritos and then broke out with <laughs> pimples? It's no coincidence. Your body was immediately affected by what you ate and it put it to good use. Every five to six months, your liver regenerates itself. Amazing. And every four to six years, you literally have a completely new body. What that means is, if as of today, you started eating non-toxic, healthy foods, within four years, you could actually be a better person than you are right now. That's a pretty cool thought. On the same token, if you continue to eat junk, food that's no good for your energy level and does nothing for you, four years from now, your body will be in the worst shape of its life. You choose. Let's talk about other things that people don't like to talk about. Bloating, gas, indigestion, okay? These things, they're minor inconveniences to life-altering events. And it happens because people are eating foods that they're allergic to or that are not good for them. Did you know, for example, that food allergies have been tied to everything from ADHD to certain types of dementia? Yeah, exactly. So if you are suffering from an ailment and nothing seems to have worked, Anything from indigestion to depression is affected by the foods you eat. A lot of times people are on medications and they don't realize those medications sap their body of vitamins and minerals. Well, you've got to then eat foods that have more of those vitamins and minerals in order to keep that medication from wracking havoc on other parts of your body. And then, to top it all off, when you think about it, food is your only source of energy. Well, yes, you could say it's the sun, but the sun is there to grow food. And so, if you are constantly drinking coffee and eating sugary sweets in order to get your energy levels up, you're actually kind of borrowing credit. And eventually, guess what? Your body's gonna declare energy bankruptcy. So getting into the habit of eating proper foods and getting yourself weaned off that cycle of sugar high and crashing low will help you to be a more energetic, less tired person all around. So what's your assignment for the week? Your assignment for the week is to increase your fruits and vegetables. We want you to add in good, healthy foods first. And yes, you can get bonus points for taking out junk food. We'll talk more about that later. But in the meantime, 
I want everyone to comment below with what five to six fruits and veggies they are going to start incorporating into their daily diet. Heck, you can list 20 veggies and eat different ones each day, but we want you to tell us, your coaches, what you want your body to be made of.